Welcome to Home with Simone. My name is Simone. And as always, a huge thank you to everybody that continuously supports my channel, whether new or an existing subscriber. Guys, thank you so very much for your continued support. And all those that are watching and enjoying my content, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, like and leave a comment. Today we'll be doing a DIY. It's kind of like my treat box inspired by the Avant calendars. Uh, my son no longer is interested in those, so I kind of thought of a creative way to kind of give him the same countdown experience. I got this beautiful wooden box from Dollarama. I think I paid like $4 for it, and then I just used the white paint. And I painted the box, the front, the top part, the sides of the... Um, drawers and then I also painted the entire box the outer part of the box once I put this box to dry I'm moving on to the numbers for the countdown to Christmas so you'll need glue for this and I just use the Claire Elmo's glue guys you know I gotta have my sparkle in here somewhere and I got these really cool tags that I got from Dollarama and they were a dollar I think it was uh, and paintbrushes. I ran out of the paintbrushes, so I just grabbed a bunch of them because I need a small paintbrush for this project. All I did was use the glue to write the numbers from 1 to 25. And guys, I have to apologize if I'm panting or I sound wheezy. I haven't been feeling too well, but I really want to put this video out for you guys because I really do love entertaining you. My asthma is bothering me and that's, if you hear any wheezing, that's what it is. I'm using silver, but you know, guys, use whatever color that matches with your decor. Just really have fun and make it your own. Once everything has dried, I apply a second layer of glue and I make this kind of thick and I put it over top of the numbers, giving it almost like a 3D, kind of pops off the paper a little bit. It makes the sparkles really shine and it also stops it from having a lot of fallout. You're not going to have sparkles all over the place. So that's why I do it this way. One of the best things about doing DIYs is you really get to make it your own. You make all of the rules. If you're not into all this sparkly stuff and you're more into something that's country, you can always use the roping to form the letters. Or if you want something a little bit more vibrant, you can use different colors to write it or glow in a dark paint. Anything. Just make it your own and have fun. Really happy with the way my box turned out. It's all completely painted, opens and closes perfectly fine. I do have to fix that part of the handle a little bit, add a little bit of paint. The numbers guys came out great. I'm super excited about it. They look exactly the way I wanted them to. Now the numbers came with this and I don't like them. It's really stiff. So I'll use something else. To fill these little pouches, I'm using some of Shallow's favorite chocolates and some of his childhood treats, you know, like when you're in church with your parents and they give you that little strawberry candy. Yeah, I threw that in there. Also threw in the Hershey's Kisses. It's kind of our thing. It's like our little chocolate. We got a little thing since he was young with the Hershey's Kisses. And, you know, Shallow's 12 and he's not just going to want chocolates. So I also threw in some money as well. Um, I don't even remember what day I put the money in to tell you the truth, but I guess we'll both be surprised. <laughs> uh, and the thing about this, which I think is fun, is you can use this for rewards. Like this is not something that you just have to use around Christmas time. If you have a kid that's having difficulties with certain things, whether it's doing their chores or whatever it is, you can still use this and have like from one to seven and every week replenish it. So whether you're putting chocolate treats in there or you're putting gum or you're putting money or you're putting a little note that gives them something like a reward. So maybe an extra half an hour on their game or an extra day on their game or something based on good behaviors. This is a great reward system to have for kids of all ages and with different challenges. It gives them something to look forward to. My pouches came out so cute. I love how it looks. I mean, this is so fun. I think I'm really going to do this every single year because I really like it and it was so easy. There are several ways you can do this if you want to scrap the whole beginning with painting the box and stuff. So I wanted to show you guys some 
different ways you can incorporate the satchel idea into your home. This one, I literally just stacked two of my trays together and then I just turned it. This is the both trays separated. One is a little bit higher than the other one, so it was easy to stack. And then this is where I added my hands. Guys, I love these hands. And this is one of the things that I talk about consistently with decor. It's important to get pieces that you can use for more than one purpose. Guys, this is the final way that I've chosen to decorate with the pouches. And I did go ahead and incorporate the box. I am so excited. I think it looks so beautiful. This is how my coffee table is going to stay. It doesn't bother me. Some people don't like a lot of clutter on their table. In this instance, I think it's just enough. And well, you all know I'm kind of extra. Anyways, guys, I hope you're inspired to get creative, have fun. I'll see you in my next video.